Welcome. Namaste, everyone. Thank you for tuning in in today's practice. My name is Beth. Welcome once again. For those of you who are new to this family-owned green wellness, I welcome you. In today's practice, we will be practicing yoga for the back. Often at time we are sitting down, we're not sitting nice and tall when we're in the computer, when we're eating dinner, or when we're in the couch. So yoga is all the time. Whether you're driving, yoga, at work, so it's important to sit upright, belly in, shoulders down. So without further ado, we're going to make our way to the mat to get some water, Make sure you warm up and just this is again really focusing on the back yeah so if you have any back pain this is the pose for you and we're going to come into our first pose is child's pose so this is yoga for back if you have back pain modify don't force yourself into any of the pose. So the first pose is child's pose. Bring the big toes to touch. Open the knee. We're going to hold the poses for one minute. So reach the hands forward. Lengthen the spine. And bring your head on the mat. Lengthen the arms. And push your hip towards the heels. Now, the important thing here is to make sure you're breathing in and out. Find your length, find your breath, push the mat, open the chest. Again, relax the head on the mat if it's available. You can continue to walk the hands. Notice my back. As I lengthen, I reach forward until my hip can touch my heels. So you can put a block on the meat, your bottom, you can reach the hands forward. Again, keep that contact with the hip and the heels and then relax the head on the mat. So work the breath in and out. Relaxing here, soften the shoulder and allow yourself to connect. Maybe set an intention to release the back from your day or before you start your day. So make sure when you breathe in, you send that breath towards the back body, lengthening and allowing. Then inhale, exhale, inhale, Walk your hands underneath your shoulder for cat-cow stretch. So knee is underneath the hip, hands underneath the shoulder. So again, we do a couple of these for one minute. Inhale, look up. As you tuck the tailbone under, look toward the knee. Push the mat away. Inhale, look up. Take your time. Drop in the belly, hip to the ceiling, chest open. As you exhale, Push the mat away, round the back, look towards your belly button. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Relax the neck. Inhale, look up. Exhale, press the mat away. Inhale, look up. Exhale round. Two good ones here. Inhale, look up. Exhale round. Last time, inhale, look up. Exhale, draw the belly in, look towards the navel. Come into neutral spine. Now, we're going to go into downward facing dog. Lift the knee and then keep the knee bent. Press the hands away. 
Draw belly in and straighten out the arms. So notice your breath. This is downward facing dog. As you inhale, you can work to straighten your legs in the downward dog. So belly in, rib cage in. Make sure you have the three feet apart, one meter, depending on your metric system. Relax the shoulder and reach your heels back. You can keep the knee bent if you have tight hamstring. The emphasis here is to draw the navel in, push the mat away, relax the head, look towards the knee, and maybe hit those thighs back. So you can bend the knee a couple of times, exhaling, straighten the legs. Bending the knee, again, straighten the legs. Bend the knee, straighten the legs. Bend the knee, straighten the legs. So again, let's hold this downward dog for 30 seconds. So heels back, belly in. Don't collapse on the shoulder. You can always drop to child's pose, the first pose that we did. Lengthen the spine. Breathe in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. You can walk your legs in and really intensify the downward dog. Again, you can open. You can come to the top of the hands to open the shoulder. But here, the emphasis is on the back. Work your breath towards your back. You can start to lift the toes, rib cage in. Then when you have it, come back into the hands and release on the mat, knee on the mat. So from here, we're gonna go into cobra, knee, chest, and chin, yeah? So you're gonna find your belly draw up, chest, and chin, yeah? So lay yourself flat on the mat, lengthen, we're going to inhale, open, so elbow hugging, legs maybe together, open the chest. As you exhale, draw down, inhale, lift, so the second time you lift the hands, keep the leg glued on the mat, exhale down, inhale, lift, find your breath, looking forward. Exhale down, inhale, lift, shoulder soft, eye soft, exhale down. Come into the fingertips, hands underneath your shoulders, inhale, you lift, look towards the right ankle, exhale down, inhale, look to the left ankle, exhale down, inhale, looking to the back, exhale down, inhale, lift, exhale down. Release on the mat. Bring the hands towards the behind the head. Interlace the hand. Legs are together. Lengthen. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Shoulder away from the ears. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Find your breath. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift, open, exhale down. Take a deep breath in, hands reach back, interlace the hand. Draw shoulders away from the ears. Belly in, legs together. The knuckles draws you up. Look at least forward, neck is long. Exhale down. So not only you get it back, Strengthen right here, but your shoulders open. So leg, legs together, knee together, draw knuckles back, and lengthen the spine. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Shoulder down. Exhale down. Inhale up, find your breath. Exhale down. Last good two. Again, releasing everywhere, lifting up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale, lift. Keep the leg on the mat. Shoulder draw away from the ears. 
Exhale down. Bring the hands underneath you. And then make sure your palm is facing the earth. Legs together. Inhale the right leg up. Find your breath. Exhale the right leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Keep breathing. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the right leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale right leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the right leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale right leg up. Point your toes. Exhale the right leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Keep going. Right leg up. Exhale the right leg down. Left leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Pause here. Release the hands. Bring the big toes to touch. Let your right, let your left chin on the mat and as you look towards the right side. Just breathe in and out. Releasing your neck. Coming back, look to the right side. Feel your breath in and out towards your back body. Coming back to center. Bring the fingers underneath your shoulder. Rolling yourself up. Find your breath. Stay here. Lengthen the spine. Really feel your shoulder. Then release on the mat. Hands back. Lift the legs. Notice your breath. Release the legs. Hands underneath the shoulder. Inhale. Look forward. Cobra. Exhale. Release. Hands reach back. Locus. Exhale. Hands underneath the shoulder. Inhale. Up. Exhale down. Inhale, hands back, lift. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Legs and hands. Exhale down. Hands underneath the shoulder. Tuck the toes under. Lift yourself up into a modified plank. Breathe in. Shoulders soft. Keep the belly engaged. Lengthen, then exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Notice your breath to stay here for a moment. Pushing those hands away, hip reaching high. Lengthen the spine, bring the breath to your back body. Extend the side angle. We're going to bring the left leg outside of the left hand. Drop the right leg 60 degrees on the mat. Left hand stays. Draw the right left sitting bone underneath the right. Then inhale, right hand reach high. You can put a block on the mat. Then extend the right hand forward. Belly in, recaging. If this is strain on your neck, you can look down, but push that right leg back. Open the chest. Left knees bend 90 degrees. Find your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Again, the longer we hold, the body starts to understand the corrections here. So make sure you're breathing in and out. And allow your shoulders to soften. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Take a deep breath in and bring the left leg back. Downward facing dog. Hands are shoulder width apart. Lengthen the spine. Then inhale, bring the right leg outside of the right hand. Dropping the left leg 60 degrees. Open the hip, belly in, rib cage in. Bend the right leg. Inhale, left hand reach high. You can stay here. You can reach that right hand forward. Draw the belly in. Right sitting bone underneath the left, open the heart. Notice your back here. 
You can put a hand, a block on the hand, lengthen, energize the left leg, emphasis on the back. Breathe in and out. Soften your shoulder away from the ears. Keep opening that right hip and looking up or down. Exhale, the left hand down. Turn the left leg back, right leg back. Downward facing dog, exhale. Breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale, bring that right knee on the mat for camel pose. Inhale, hands reach up. Tuck the toes under. Lengthen, again, you can bring the hands on the lower back. Continue to push the hip forward. Open the back body. Again, don't go any farther. If this is uncomfortable, if it's uncomfortable, you sit on the heels. If you want that to go, you can inhale, exhale, bring the hands towards the heels for the expression, camel pose, but bring the belly in, ribcage in, continue pressing the hip forward. You can look back, you can look forward. Your breath is constant. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Bring the hands to your hip and slowly release into child's pose. Lengthen the spine, hip towards the heels, opening. So in the camel pose, it seems like we're doing a back bend, but we want to straighten the back muscles from the weakness. Yeah. So when we straighten, we then stretch out in the child's pose to allow any tension there to release. Yeah. The growth. So from here, we're going to go into bringing our legs together. Bring the hand on the mat, maybe head towards the knee. Wrap the hands around to your heels. Make sure it's not sweaty. Then inhale, lift the hip. You can start to walk the knee towards, and then notice your back body. Round in here. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Work the knee towards the chest. Breathe in. And breathe out. And then release back. Take child's pose. Breath is constant. Head release. Then inhale, bring yourself back up. Sit down. Easy pose. First easy pose. You can sit on a block or a bolster. Belly in, ribcage in, hands open. Reach the hands all the way up. Lengthen from the left side, right side, belly in, ribcage in. Then exhale, we twist to the right side. Open. So draw belly in, ribcage in. Eyes soft. Do not force the twist. Then inhale, hands come back up. Stretch out and exhale over to the left side. Lengthen, belly in. Ribcage in, pull the shoulders down, do not force the twist, breath is constant. Inhale, bring yourself back forward, lengthen, inhale, exhale, and lay yourself down. Lay yourself down. So bring your back onto the mat and bring your hands to lift the hip up for bridge pose. You can stay here, you can interlace the hand underneath you, belly in, ribcage in. Keep the legs hip distance apart, draw knuckles down, breathe in and out. Belly in, eyes soft, really engage the butt muscles. Shoulder down, knuckles down. You can put a block underneath your back. 
if your back is painful, your back is hurting, and draw a nail in. Exhale, release the hands. And then inhale, lay yourself flat, and then lift the legs up. If it's available, you can bring your legs against the wall, but the emphasis here is that your lower back makes contact with the earth. Palms open or close. Shoulders soft, belly towards the spine, and you let your legs straighten. Palms facing the earth. Inhale in and out. When you have it, bend the knee, place the feet on the mat. Then make sure your hands can reach. Inhale, lift the hip. Find your breath. Exhale, the hips down. Inhale, the hips lift. Exhale, the hips down. Inhale, the hips lift. Exhale, the hips down. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, the hips down. Inhale, lift the hips. Palm facing the earth, lift on up. Belly in, ribcage in. Exhale, release. Now, take a deep breath in. Bring your hands, hug your knee in. Bring your head towards your knee. Relax the shoulder. And then open the hands. Drop the hands, legs over to the right, look to the left, spinal twist. Come back to center and over to the left, spinal twist, look to the right side. Bring your right hand over to the left, then inhale, press yourself to seated. You can take Shavasana, you can come into a seated pose. Hands chop, belly in, ribcage in, and twist to your right side. Lengthen. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, over to the left side. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, bring the hands in Namaskar. Then lighten me on as the light in each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me in today's practice. Back is a very a tender spot in our body. We use it all the time, so make sure you are engaging the belly, the core strength here, but also straightening and toning your back muscles so that you can stand tall like a yogi. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. My name is Beth. Thank you and welcome to the Own Green family. Consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'll see all of you soon.